welcome back to my channel my name is Kenesha and I started a series on my channel where I talk about entrepreneurship and just girl boss video okay, so first this is my first time shipping out a palette because they actually just came in I just launched them um, I did pre-order like a few weeks ago but they actually just came in a few days ago so if you haven't checked out that video go ahead and check that out so um, the boxes that I have for these palettes aren't in yet. So for this video, I'm just gonna be using a regular standard shipping box and I'm just gonna go ahead and take the bottoms up and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so I went ahead and take the bottom of this box and now I have this paper that you see. It's all wrinkled up because I already tried to like put it in here to measure it and stuff, but what I did was I print my um, stickers out, my logo stickers out on the printer, and then I use the um, circle like logo stickers. And when I usually like before, I go ahead and print out the logo stickers. I do a test run on like a cardstock paper. And instead of just like throwing it away, I'm gonna actually go ahead and use it. So I already measured the box and I need to cut at least like one row off of this so it can fit in here just to give it some type of something and so the um like i have puzzle boxes and stuff so it just looks like this this is how it looks in the bottom it just has the logos and stuff it still looks cute okay okay, okay so now that we have the box done let's move on to the palettes um i want to make sure everything's off of them and all of that and i purchased this tissue paper yesterday from Family Dollar. I would recommend Dollar Tree because you get like a hundred of them and one, and this one was, you get 20 of them for a dollar. At Dollar Tree, you get like a hundred of them for a dollar. So I just wanted one with pink in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this pink one out and then take another one out for the other one. Grab some bubble wrap. Make sure if you're shipping anything that's fragile or anything that can break, make sure you are using bubble wrap guys okay make sure you are using bubble wrap for anything that is proper so i'm just gonna lay this right here i'm gonna lay that right there and then i'm just gonna fold it over like this i really want it to be safe in there so i'm gonna do it a few times I'm not even gonna lie because this is my first time shipping it i don't know how it's gonna go tear that off and voila this is what it looks like so I got the tissue paper and I'm gonna place it in the middle and then I'm just gonna fold it like this and fold it like this and go ahead and just tape it just a little bit I need a little bit a little piece you don't even have to use tape but I am Okay, so this is what it looks like. Now, I would definitely, definitely recommend putting a, your logo sticker on, like right there. Let me show you guys. A logo sticker, I have them, but I don't have them printed, and I want to get this video done, so I don't have time to do it. But it would be really cool if you add your sticker logo right in the middle. But I figured since, you know, we got it right there, that's okay, and I'm also gonna add something else. Okay, so I have some custom ribbon and it just looks like this. So you wanna make sure that you always have like custom things in stock. So you can just like spice stuff up. And this thing is so soft. So I know that this palette is not gonna get ruined. And I'm just gonna like guess where to stop. I'm gonna stop right here. Move this out the way.
Like, who wouldn't be happy to get this? Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is, I have the box right there. I'm just gonna place it inside the box. It looks like that. It looks like this inside of the box. Okay, so I have a business card. I'm just gonna add that in. And then I have this little thank you card. I'm gonna actually write. So I just put thank you so much Jasmine on there and I'm just gonna sit this right in there. And then the next thing you wanna do is get some shipping labels. These are the shipping labels that I currently have. These are from Dollar Tree. Um, they're a dollar. So like I said, if you haven't watched my vid previous videos, watch those because I'll give you guys tips on where to get like affordable shipping supplies and stuff. But yeah, these are a dollar at Dollar Tree. I also use the AV brand from Walmart. I found, I know on the other video I said that they're expensive. I found a pack at Walmart like this for 20 for a dollar 50 and they have another um another kind that is like um it's a completely different design but it's shipping label still i don't know i think it's like a premium kind but they have a cheaper version that's what i'm trying to say so the next thing you want to do the next thing you want to do is close your box up this is how it looks so i'm just gonna go ahead and tape it Okay, so I taped it. It's not moving or nothing, which is great. So this this shipping method that I'm gonna show you guys is only if you are handwriting your labels, handwriting, okay? You can print your labels out from your printer, from your website, you can do all of that, but this is only if you're handwriting your labels. If you don't have a printer, this is for if you don't have Wi-Fi, you can use this way for a lot of different reasons. I know a lot of shipping videos that I watch they always do like the expensive way. I wouldn't say expensive, but like you would have to have like a printer and um, a, an account with like, uh, I forgot the shipping station, whatever, all of that stuff. But if you just want to do something simple and quick, you're just starting out small business or if you just like handwriting.